I miss that, that camaraderie. Yeah, the camaraderie is nice. I, I kind of use my workout. I, most of the time I work out alone. I used to work with a trainer, mm. but after a while I realized like, I don't need to help push myself. I just write a routine, and there's a certain meditative aspect to being alone with your thoughts. Yes. And just I like to put fights on so I can watch something in between yes. sets, but I just like to be – uh, and I, I like to be accountable 100% for my work. Like, I know what I have to do. I know what I do it. And it sets the tone for the day, which sets the tone for my life. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel it's about it. It's the same thing with me in training. I, I love training alone. I, and it's been a long time since I trained with the boys. That's why it was a, it was it was a real fun. treat. It was Today fun, was fun. Man. It was yeah, fun. It was Those fun. Those guys are all hilarious. So it's just, fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's all just a lot dude. of talking shit. With some talking shit and, and some jokes. Talking is so out of his mind. It's just so great. <laughs> and she, it was great. It was amazing. But, and then but, we all but got, the training alone, though, that that is important. Yeah. You know, for the mental. I feel like for me, it anchors my day. Mm -hmm. But also, too, life is so busy and crazy. From the moment you wake up and you walk outside, everybody's wanting something from you. Yeah. So for, for many of us by the way whether a celebrity yep. or not yeah so it's nice to have that anchor in the morning do you train in the mornings Is always that yeah, yeah always in the morning but sometimes i do it in the afternoon if i if i've you know have some sort of an appointment or something i'll, I'll mm -hmm. work i just get it in i must must get it in but i tr i like to start the day with it that's what i like to do yeah me too it's the best way it's, it's like you get it out of the way and also i like to do it fasted so i wake up and uh, you know, yeah. have a cup of coffee get some pre-workout in me and just fucking yeah. let's go that's it yeah let's go <laughs> and i go right into the cold plunge that's the first thing so the first thing is suffering like right away suffer for, yes. it's cold outside who gives a fuck get in there suffer suffer yes. for three minutes and then warm yourself up through working out and then then get into it uh, but we did it reverse today. Was it because – how come we did it reverse today? Well, those guys, guys are was... not really ready to get in the cold plunge first. <laughs> They're not ready. That, that's Don't dive level. in first. Yeah. yeah, that's next level. I get them in the cold plunge after the sauna because it's easier because your body temperature is already heated up and there's a certain amount of relief when you get into the cold water because yes. you know, you're in that 185 degrees for 20 minutes. Yes. When you get in that cold, then your body relaxes. And I just did it – I just want to get them the, accustomed to doing – Asan impressed the shit out of me. Three minutes is the first time. You you did too. Three minutes your first time. Thank you, man. Yeah. It was awesome. You just stayed calm as fuck in there. I, I felt like that's the thing to do, yeah. right? You get yeah. in, and I heard you coaching the boys. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Yeah. You're good. Just accept it. Just accept it. Don't Because your brain goes, we got to get the fuck out of here. Get, get yes. fucker, I got to get the fuck out of here. I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah. And if you let that shit roll around in your head. Then you're it, up. But it's also good practice for not letting that shit roll around in your head in everyday life. Because mm -hmm. there's times in everyday life where you just like can make a rash decision because your brain ramps up the wrong way. And if you just stay calm, you could see a rational solution or a rational way to handle something. Any kind of shit that's Any going down. Any kind of shit that's going down. Yeah. Yes. The ability to keep your head together. That's right. When you're like, ah, ah, in that yeah. cold water, is like, ah, you want to, ah, you're like, give me the fuck out of here. It, it, it goes against every fiber yes. in your body. <laughs> yeah. And as you know, like today was my first cold plunge. I ordered mm -hmm. it. It gets delivered next week, but today was the first one. Nice. So that's why I had to Which get one in. did you get? Um... I don't know which one I got. There's I a bunch which, of good ones out there. I know I needed a just a longer one. So yeah, I, you I need a bigger one. You barely fit in ours. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking squished up in there. It was hilarious. It's great. Yeah, that one is interesting because that's called a blue cube. And the blue cube has a very cool option where you can crank up the water flow. So you get it down. So it spins. Yeah, so it's bit. 37 degrees. And then you hit this switch. And it's just like a raging river. So you never get a thermal layer. So the thing that happens in the cold plunge is like a minute in, your body develops sort of a thermal layer. And it, it actually is more tolerable after a minute than it is for the first minute. But not mm -hmm. with that raging river. When that shit's in there, like it's never tolerable. You just sit there the whole three minutes just white knuckling it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's harder. How often are you doing the raging river part? Um, I, do, you you do it without these guys. Yeah. Don't, don't let these guys. I just, I'm trying not to get anybody to quit. You know, right. today I was worried. I was like, yeah, fucking kind of pushing them because we added Renegade Rose today. We added windmills. Yes. Yes. I added a few things to the routine. But the last two or three workouts, two workouts, I've been finishing them with the rounds on the bag. So you do this Tabata, Tabata sprint. So it's 20 seconds of just going out and then 10 seconds rest. 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing protocol for developing cardio. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was amazing. I'd never done that before, and it was great. You know what I also loved, I noticed about the guys, is after the workout was done, they're spent, they're feeling good, they're feeling great about themselves. And I think 
pretty much all of them said, hey, we're doing this tomorrow, right? Yeah. It was good. Because, yeah. you know, when that shit really kicks your ass, <laughs> and, hey, you don't ask that question. Well, if they wake up sore, who knows? Because there's a few things that we did that are going to – their legs are going to be sore for sure for like the between the leg stuff and the windmill yeah. stuff. But, but we'll do something different tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll get them in here. We'll do something different. I'll keep them going. Are, are you banging them out like uh, would you say five times a week? Whenever three? they want to come. So, like, Great. right now it's been three days a week, but I'm yeah. like, if you guys want to go five days a week, we'll go five days a week. Yeah. Like, you let me know what you want to do, and we'll do it. And I just – I try to give them some stuff. Like, if you're on the road, just do the push-ups and the body weight routine. Mm-hmm. Just try – you don't have to do 100. I do 100. I do sets of 20. Do sets of 10, 5, whatever. Just do it. Yeah. And just make sure that you, if you – so, say if you do, like, 50 push-ups and 50 body weight squats one day, the next day try to make it 60. Try to get to 60. Try to eventually get to 100. And if you have to do 10 sets of 10, that's pretty easy to do. 10 is not hard. Mm -hmm. You know, and then that last one, you're like, and eventually you'll get to a point where you could do sets of 20. And it's just, it's easy. It's not that hard to do. You like, when I do 20, at the end of 20, I could do way more, but I just relax. And then I do the body weight squats. And if you keep doing it, it just conditions your body to be able to do that all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a great warm up, 15 minutes and you're sweating. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. we started off with that and then you go right into all the other stuff. So by that, we, body's already heated up, you're ready to rock. 